Okay, so many people have watched the uh, Paul Blart series. I'm just going to give my explanation on it. Or, yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is starting on two, right? A little background for people who are unaware of it. Paul Blart 1 was not a documentary, alright? This is important because 2 is. You see, Paul Blart 1, they needed to, um... Well, what they needed to do is they needed to lower the stakes. Because, okay, so they've planned out the um, Paul Blart series since the beginning. I think a lot of people don't understand that. So they look at the uh, Paul Blart uh, series and just look at each movie individually. This is a big mistake. It's, it's kind of like a concept album. You know, you want to go through it all at the same time so you can see where the uh, plot lines link up and how ingeniously they did it. They were working on it for over a decade. Oh my god, dude. Let me tell you about it. Well, anyway... So, 2 is starting off after 1, obviously, you know, in that whole scene when he killed the Prime Minister, right? And he decided to go on a vacation with his daughter, right? He is a wonderful father, a good Christian father. He likes to keep things Christian. A big plot thing inside of this movie is there is a horrible, just horrible piece of shit human being trying to take Paul Blart's daughter away from him. And you know what that piece of shit human being is? It's called desire. She desires to go to a college. A, a certain college I shall not speak the name of. You all know it. You all know it. if you If you're a true fan of the Paul Blart series like I am, you know it. You fucking know it. Alright? Bye. I, I lied. I lied, there are two pieces of shit human beings, and I think you guys were expecting me to say this one the first time. It's that, oh, she had a crush on him, right? And you know what? He's fucking dead now. He's fucking dead. Oh my god, he's dead now because of it. You hear me? Dude, you don't fuck with, uh, you don't fuck with Paul Blair, let me tell you about that, dude. He, I said he's dead. His entire family's dead. No, nah, it's true. It is, look it up. Anyway, so basically, he was trying to get in good with uh, Paul Blur ever since the beginning of the uh, second movie, right? And he was doing this to try and, uh, he just wanted to get in with Paul Blur since he is the most powerful man ever. Ever. I Obviously, he'd want to do it, right? So, his plan to do it, if you uh, saw the uh, little hints was just to um, start dating Paul Blurd's daughter. But it, you know if you've seen the movie that this doesn't go too good for him. Or uh, if you know the full story behind the movie that is, because he died. He's Him and his family is dead. Um, well, anyway, he dated his daughter, or at least tried to, or so you think he did. He did not give a rat's ass about his daughter, dude. Oh my god, he's a piece of shit. A piece of shit, absolute.